Hi, it's uh, Mike from Kinetic again. And uh, in this video, now that I've been playing and tinkering with uh, Moopin 64 Plus a little bit, I just wanted to do a quick, uh, a quick kind of uh, demo of all of the uh, high-resolution texture packs that, that can be launched and what it's looking like so far. Um, also to keep in mind is that <clears throat> all these are being launched in 1280 by 1024, um, as well as that Moopin 64 Plus, now it, it's just compiled from source. All the you know all the config settings aren't exactly right, and uh, so there's going to be some graphical errors and glitches, things that devs will fix. And um, when they put like the official branch into a you know a ret the RetroPie setup, and uh, of course they're going to you know configure Moopin 64 Plus to use the the right video card driver. So you know that'll that'll make a huge boost. So this is just kind of an early demo of what's capable, um, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, specifically around uh, high resolution texture packs. So let's do rice and well, let's do our first one. Let me just get my list here. Alrighty, got my list. Let's do F0 first. Let's see if it's loading. So you can already see the, the different textures that are being used, and they're playing, you know, looking a lot better. I'm a huge fan of the high res texture packs. And it's not loading perfectly. That's to be expected because the video card driver isn't, you know, fully set up yet. But it is playing smooth, even at uh, even in, uh, even at the increased resolution. So if you were rocking like a, a standard Raspberry Pi 3, um, and you were just loading up F-Zero AX and playing it, uh, it would be playing at like 640 by 480 by default, even if it was full screen. So as good as it's looking right now, and as well as it's playing, it's only going to get better when the devs kind of tinker and tweak it. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to Mario Kart. Now this is just my list of, you know, there's a, a location that you can get the uh, the texture packs from. Um, so these are just the ones that I've been able to download and get working and, and test. Um, there are some other ones that I haven't been able to get loaded. but that are available. There's also ones available for GameCube. Some of the things you can notice, the trees have got like a really cool texture on them. The, uh, the photo frames with like the character pictures definitely got rocking a a cooler, uh, a cooler graphic. The road. 
bricks on the uh, bridge, etc. I don't think texture packs have been a, been as like super popular um, on the three, just because um, they tend to lag. Uh, because you know you are you are increasing the amount of graphical data to be uh, to be rendered. It tends to kind of uh, drag the performance down a little bit. So Mario Kart was pretty playable, even with the texture pack on a three B. But uh, a lot of the other ones would kind of create so, uh, enough uh, video lag that it would kind of negate it being useful. But uh, I've I've had my thoughts a while on on the Pi Four that um, that it would be a really good platform for uh, for a lot of the games that have texture packs available for them. And I and I, I can for you know almost authoritatively say that uh, the devs are probably gonna that if the devs don't at least users will be able to configure N sixty or four games to play at like higher resolutions you know not just not just three twenty by two forty and six forty by forty but you know ten twenty four by seven sixty eight twelve eighty I mean even up to nineteen twenty by ten eighty I you know I've already tested a few games at 1920 by 1080 and they've they played great oh. I hit a banana so yeah Mario Kart playing perfectly fine even with the uh, texture pack let me get my next game The next game is Paper Mario, which doesn't load the character models. Uh, it did on a 3, so it's just something either with my config or with the video card driver uh, thus far. So I'm not going to boot it, but I will do Super Smash Brothers. You can already see the the increased textures on the uh, on the character loading screen. Uh, let's play Link, I guess. Some Link on Link action. Now this is going to lag down because it puts like five characters a time on the screen. So it's going to be lagged down, uh, unfortunately. I don't know, I'm going to see if I can beat the level, if you bear with me, because I want to get to the third level. Um, which would be a little bit more... And here's what's concerning about this, right? Like, obviously, you know, Smash being a four-player game, the hope is that you can, uh, you know, play with four of your friends without, you know having too much lag and I think the Pi 4 can do it um, this is an overclock Pi it's overclocked 2 gigs I have the V3D frequency set to 650 GP frequency at 600 um, I think that this just needs the video card driver to be you know working 100% and without it um, it's just op the OpenGL driver uh, we're gonna see a lot better performance out of this so much so that I think eventually you'll be able to kind of play four player at full speed. That's my, you know, amateur opinion. But even in its current state, I think you can play all the single player content except for this stage where, or the stages where they 
throw like 18 of something at you. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Because I don't know what the damn up command is. <laughs> he just knocked his own teammates off. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to that third level. So now that's just two characters being rendered on the screen. Back to normal playability. Smash Brothers playing pretty good. Well, I'll just double check what the next game is. Is uh, oh yeah, it's Star Fox. Had a little bit of this on my uh, on my last video, which I was talking about. Um, Moopin 64 Plus in general. Apologies for making you wait for the, through uh, the load screens, but uh, I don't have the like save state mapped because this was compiled from source, um, which is why I can't like load a save file in a quick and easy manner. A little darker uh, than even this would have showed up like when you load this on a three. Um, not to beat a dead horse, but again, a condition of uh, a condition of uh, the driver not being the right driver. Something's wrong. 
along with the G to fuel. Use the boost. I guess I should be thankful. Double barrel roll. Oh man, just terrible flying. So yeah, that one's looking pretty good. Uh, just a few more. Oh yeah, next up is Super Mario. I really like this texture pack. I personally have been dying to see uh, what the Pi 4 could do with this. So I'm super happy that uh, that I figured out how to get Mopin64 Plus compiled. I've never figured out how to make a um, Libretro loaded text pack. Not even sure if it can. Maybe you can. Face is a little too too white there. You wouldn't see that if uh, everything was tuned right. But this is playing full speed. Definitely some small graphical glitches that you wouldn't see. Let's see, there we go. Stage one, it's over here, right? One of the crazy things is is is, is it's like hard coded to sixteen bit rendering right now, as uh as I understood when I when I look at the um, config files because it really doesn't like thirty two bit. Um, once more a condition of the video card driver being just this basic of uh, open GL driver, so it can look better because this is just in sixteen bit. Oh, no. To oh, my God. Total fail. Oh, that's fine. We'll go to the next game. Ooh, Zelda.
All right. So I think I have a texture pack for both of the Zeldas, and they look amazing. Problem being that Zelda having such a long load time. Luckily, you, the viewer, can hit that fast forward button just a little bit. So maybe just check out the beginning of the uh, beginning of the load, and then uh, switch to gameplay. You can already see the the wings being rendered. Uh, those are different, you know. The the textures being loaded, even on the loading screen. The mask is real awesome. Let's say the bat the the original of the game was good, but. Gotta kill this grass to make that money.
Yeah, it looks even better when he gets transformed, etc., etc. But if you want to see all of that, I would just get the game. And I'll share the location for the uh, the texture packs. I don't even show you exactly what you got to do to get them to work right at the end of the video. Um, let's see here. So we just got to do the Oak Arena at a time. Even the loading screen looks awesome with the uh, the texture pack.
real impatient there, Navi. Barrel roll. Everyone's all shocked that Link's got a fairy. last one. I don't know, just for those who are curious, I'll, I'll show the, uh, the exact specific things you got to do to, to get a texture pack working. Imperfections here, stuff that's just going to get better over time. Robin's racing. And there we go. So, other than having, you know, Open64 Plus compiled, if you want to uh, experiment with, uh, uh, you know, the resolution texture packs, um, there's a good uh, wiki page started a long time ago, um, N64 Optimization. It's got, a, it's got some information on there um, that I've tried to keep, you know, I've tried to keep up to date. Uh, other people go in there and, Sometimes change it for the better, sometimes change it for the worse. That's just what happens with an open, editable wiki page. But there is a uh, link to the uh, to the uh, to the um, place that you can download a texture pack. And I'm just gonna open that up where you can see it. Just give me a second. I have to SSH it in. Mm 
Oh, I just need to put that. I guess I'm gonna have to manually type this dang link in. It's all good. Just bear with me a second. Sorry, I had to manually type this in. Let me just get like a uh, like an example of the actual download. So copy link address. Okay, so it'd be this one. Just one more moment. Okay, now I can drop to the other screen and show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so for a texture pack to work, a couple things need to need to uh, need to happen. So you need to first get a texture pack. Um, the place that you can get them from, uh, I'll drop a link in the in the description, um, but you can also see it here. Uh, so that first link is actually the website that has kind of like a list, the HTTP textures, emulation 64, PHP ID downloads, that has like a list of the available texture packs for uh, N64. And then the second link is actually the hard link to... Um, to uh, is the hard link to the Mario Kart 64 texture pack. So you can enter a command. So in order to get the texture pack where you need it to be, um, I'm going to show you the location that it has to be at. So it's uh, CD Pi. It's in Home Pi Local Share uh, Mupin 64 Plus. And this is where you create a folder. So you probably won't, you gotta, well, you can either use WinSCP, depending on what you like to do. I mean, like if you don't like command line, uh, like I do, you can just use WinSCP and share hidden, uh, configure WinSCP to show hidden files. And you can navigate to the share folder and then create manually a Mupin64 plus folder and then manually create a high, a high res texture folder. Or you can um, SSH to your box and then just come come to this directory, which is home slash pi slash dot local slash share, and then do a make dir mupin sixty four plus. Um, hit enter, and then cd to that mupin sixty four plus directory, and then do another make dir uh, for uh, high res. It should look like this: uh, high res underscore texture. So the command should look like make dir make dir high res underscore texture. You may have to pseudo that, but I already have it, so I'm not going to rerun the command again. Um, well, then once you've created that folder, uh, you can CD into that folder. Uh, and I already have mine unpacked exactly as they are. You could do... Uh, you can either download these onto your, like your normal Windows computer and then use WinSCP and browse to this directory in uh, WinSCP and upload them. Or if you just want to do it the command line, you can just do sudo wget uh, the link colon slash slash emulation 64.com slash files slash get down load slash 1313 slash. So this would download um an html file i think uh i think i got the wrong one hold on essentially you got to copy link address this is the right one now well, that should be it Thirteen, thirteen. there we go that did it nope Hmm, why is it not loading? Just gonna... Copy link address. 
And maybe something else you have to configure. Sudo wget. Well, I'm messing that up. Anyways, download it on your computer. Win SCP it over, or uh, SCP it. If you have a Linux box, just to, to get it in. Uh, for some reason, wget's not working. I think I, I think I had it working on other files. Just check one more thing, because that should have worked. Like for Star Fox. No, it's just going to do like a get file 980, right? So it's get file. Yeah, it's not it's not doing it right cuz it, it just, it's cuz it doesn't have like the file name in uh Oh, yeah, you know what you need to do? You need to put the file name in it. Hold on, I think I got it. I think I got what I'm messing up. There we go. That's what you need to do. So if you were just downloading the Mario, like you have to, how you would get that link is when you end up at the actual download location for, uh, from the, from the first link that I showed you, um, you would, it would, if you copy link address, it's going to give you up to 1313 and you have to actually add that. Like you have to download it on your computer to find what the file name is. And if that's the file name, which is curbs, fixed pack zip, then that you have to specify to wget to specifically get that one. Um, sorry about that, that took me a second to unbrain fart. So then you'll have in your directory a uh, curbs, zip, uh, curbs zipped fixed pack zip, and you would do a sudo unzip against that, and then hint enter, and that would, un uh, it would uh, actually unzip the Mario Kart 64 folder. Um, continuing on after that brain fart, you have to, for the texture pack to correctly load, it has to, sometimes they're not named correctly, and you have to rename them, right? So if, if you go back to, um, and I'll do it in a second, like, um, like let me go back to, uh, you can see, those are all the, I mean, you can just copy it from here, right? Like the, the, the way that I have it in my directory, because that, that's pretty much almost all of the texture pack. There's a few more that I haven't done, but um, how you can determine what the, correct folder name for the texture pack to load correctly um, is is like this you have to add the command line so you have to drop you have to hit f4 and drop down to the command line and you have to manually launch uh, a game uh, so you can do um, So just like we manually launched a game, and it's going to load that that little text riser screen, um, and you can hit escape again to to jump out of it. And if you uh, unfortunately it scrolled too past it, but if you did it in Putty, uh, you can you can actually uh, so and one of the I know this is complicated, it's over techy, but one of the uh, things that it shows you is the game name as it launches. Right, the game name is it as the I don't know what the right term for it. The, the fixed file, like the internal CRC checksum name of the game is done. So you can see um, sometimes when you download those packs from the, the texture pack site, they just don't have the, the correct name. And you have to manually double check uh, what, what it is according to its internal checksum so that you can name the uh, folder 
uh, appropriately in order to get the texture pack to work. Right. So as long as you have in your oh no, I'm not going to convict. I'm going to share. C dot local C. So as long as you have the folders correctly named, right? So like the internal CRC name for uh, F0 is F0X, uh, Mario Kart 64, Paper Mario, Smash Brothers, etc. As long as you have those correctly set, uh, it will load the texture pack. The only thing you have to uh, do correctly is make sure that in Mupin 64 plus config, you have high res texture set to true. So... Um, Sometimes, let me just a quick a quick trick for if you don't like searching or you hate looking up paths to things, um, you can do a sudo app get install m locate to install this uh, uh, lo locate utility. You can then run a command called sudo update db, which just kind of refreshes indexes so Linux knows where to look for things. And then you can do uh, a locate for mupin 64 plus dot config and it'll tell you where your uh, your config file is and you can just go browse to that location uh, and then and then you can do a sudo vi loop in 64 plus config you can choose to do this two ways okay and another little linux tip uh, you can use vi or nano uh, if you're going to adjust a file or you can get in there like I guess I think WinSCP has a, a text editing type of thing or whatever. Um, if you're going to use Nano, and most Linux guys would make fun of you if you did, uh, if you're going to use Nano, put a dash W, right? Like this is what what a lot of people won't teach you is if you're going to use a Nano, uh, put that dash W flag in it. It'll it'll stop like extra carriage returns or or formatting errors from being placed into a text document when you because you can actually mess up a config file uh, using nano i've done it you know people have lots of people have done it i've had to fix lots of config files that people have messed up by using nano on them um make sure you put that dash w in there and then do a moop in 64 plus config and you can get in there and you can find in the section um it'll be here the crappy thing i don't use nano enough to know where how to do the find function. But you come down to video rice. So there's a section called video rice. And in section of video rice, there is a part that says uh, show FPS, which you can put to true, and it doesn't do anything. It should. Um, and there's a section that says texture enhancement. Where is it? It's really hard to read from this capture card. High rev, fast texture loading. This is really difficult to do in nano. Okay, well, if you, I'm going to do it in VI because that's how I know how to do it. But uh, if you were to find it in here, if you were to search through every one of these lines, oh, here it is. Load, load high rev textures. I'm going to get that back. So I have this configured to true. By default, depending on the situation, a lot of the times it's already configured actually <laughs> but um just to make sure you would change this to uh from false which it would be to true um and then hit control x and then it would say save modified buffer and you would hit yes and then hit enter and that would that would uh s correctly save the file um if you can do it the cool way or the, the big boy way with vi um so vi is super easy there's just a couple extra steps with vi so once you've launched v oh okay hold on let me back up one second um before you do anything in vi actually install it there's there's like some uh crappy version of of vi that's installed by default in um any raspbian or really almost any debian distribution so before you actually use vi apt get install vim to get like the real real vi uh, otherwise, any like any instructions that you see online for how to use it, or, or you know, if somebody's giving you a guide and showing you how to use it, um, it'll be wrong. Uh, it'll it'll mess crap up. I don't know. I don't know why they do that. They should just put normal Vim in Debian distros. But that's neither here nor there. So you can do sudo uh, vi your config file. 
um, hit the slash button and then uh, type in what you're looking for, uh, which is high. And I think we're looking for high res. And then it'll bring you in the um, in the file exactly to what you're looking for, right? So you can always do search strings, right? And you can repeat search strings and look for many instances of whatever search string that you need to do. So it'll bring you right to the thing. You're going to hit I, which is going to put you into insert mode. Kill out, you know, the variable that you need to change. Put it in there. Just make sure load high res textures is to true, right? A really long-winded way of explaining how to edit a configuration file, but uh, I'm sorry, I like to teach. Uh, once you have load high res uh, load high res textures to true, um, you'd actually probably want to check your run command uh, on Pi threes. Uh, there's an option for select video mode, I believe. Yeah, it's it's under if you look under the run command options. Um, and you can like select one as long as you just force it to go with the 1024 by 768 resolution or better, uh, it'll work, right? So if you just have it by default, it won't work because the resolution is not high enough. Um, in this one, what I'm doing, or in this instance, uh, I'm just editing my uh, config file at the top. Uh, Oh, wow. There's a lot of instances of full screen. Um, what does it say at the top? It says, oh, I know what to search for. There we go. So in this part of the, um, god dang it. Uh, in this part of the config file, I'm, I'm specifically under video general, I'm specifically configuring 1280 by 1024, right? So that's better than 1024 by 768. So I know that the texture pack will launch. So you do those very complicated things and high resolution texture packs will work for you. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and educational. Uh, sorry to make me to make it so long. Uh, skip around if you want. I guess that's useless saying that now because you've gotten to the end of the video. It's late. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I apologize. <laughs> uh, anyways, have a good one.